back again. No, done one for a while. But just being too busy. Uh, bit of news. The logo's gone. Uh, just got the engine left of it. Uh, the wheels. Um, it needed too much work and I didn't have the time so I just ended up stripping all the parts off for it. Um, someone's hopefully buying this. I've just uh, finished strapping it all down. It's nice and sturdy now. Uh, I've got a few more parts for the B20 VTEC conversion. Got a B18 uh, water pump. Magnetic sump plug, new valves, dem seals, B18 cam belt, new tensioner, uh, and then we've got the oil feed line, uh, the uh, Golden Eagle conversion kit, and head gasket, B20 head gasket. Uh, the kit does come with the step dials. That's good. Luckily, I don't need to use this drill bit because mine's already got it already. Uh, good to go on that. But yeah, it's a bit tight in here. I've got parts to get rid of. All sorts, just so I can get busy and get back on it again. So, I just thought I'd let you know what's going off. Oh, in fact, well, no, on the last video, I didn't finish showing you the uh, car edge unit that I fitted. So, I'll just show you that now. As you can see, it's uh, dark at the moment. Uh, keys in, show it we're not in gear. Got like, it fitted in. Oh, Put some lights on so I can try and see it a bit better. As you can see, I've got it in. I got it in pretty flush, and didn't make too much of a mess on the corners. But it, it's fitted in. It's not. It's not moved at all. So I'm happy. I didn't like how it stuck out. Uh, I wouldn't have been happy if it were like that. You can see there's a bit more of a gap on this side. Always a bit annoying, but for the first time trying to fit. And I had to sand the dash down to get it to fit actually in the hole, so not done too bad. I'm happy. So, there you go. I thought I'd just give you a quick update. So. Hopefully I'll have some more parts for the B20, uh, B20 VTEC conversion soon, so I'll uh, update when I can. Cheers, bye.